Salutations crustaceans, I'm Lobster and today we are going to be modding our Squire Paranormal 54 Jazz. Let's do it. This is our Squire Paranormal 54 Jazz and it is a great bass. For around $400 to $450, you get stacked volume and tone controls for each pickup, 60s jazz bass pickup spacing, Fender designed single coil jazz bass pickups, and an overall solid construction with a fully glossed maple neck. We've already reviewed this bass and gave it a 4 out of 5 claw rating and recently revisited the model after a couple of years. I believe they launched in September of 2020 and we recently picked one up on the Labor Day sale to revisit. This is that bass and I am very excited to mod it now before we let it go. For parts, we're going to be using a hand-me-down Wilkinson bridge and the Lace Aluma J pickups. These pickups were featured in our Jazz Powerhouse pickup comparison and these are just killer pickups. Very high output, very cool. If there's one thing I could criticize the Squire Paranormal J for, it would be the pickups which lack a little bit of character and a little bit of output. They're not terrible by any means and they sound pretty good, but I think we can make this bass sound better and I'm hoping these pickups will do that. Let's go ahead and play our bass line bass line, then we can swap in our new pickups. You all know what you need to do. Go ahead and push that like button so my hand will turn back to normal. Thanks. Now let's head over to our workbench and install our Lace Aluma J pickups and our Wilkinson bridge. To the workbench! We are here at my workbench and we are going to be installing the Lace Aluma J pickups as well as our Wilkinson bridge. Doing a little bit of upcycle in here. Now this is going to be a very easy mod. We don't have to flip this base over at all. Everything we're going to be doing is under the control plate and with the pickups here. But first let's replace this bridge with our Wilkinson bridge. We can detune the strings and just remove the bridge. We can replace the strings later. Okay, with our bridge swapped out, let's go ahead and unscrew our pickups and our control plate. Okay, with our control plate removed, we can start to decipher what is what. We have our two sets of pickup wires here. Our neck pickup and our bridge pickup. Let's go ahead and disconnect our stock pickups. Okay, with our pickups disconnected, let's go ahead and remove them. And next, let's take out our Lace Aluma pickups. Interesting, so from, from what I can tell, we actually have to route the pickup wires from the neck pickup cavity to the bridge pickup cavity and then over. Okay, now let's just screw down our pickups and then we'll wire them up to the pots. Be sure to use these shorter screws that come with the Aluma J pickups, otherwise you might screw through your body and then you'd be screwed. <laughs> Okay, with our pickups secured, let's go ahead and install them onto our pots. Okay. 
Okay, with our pickups connected, I believe everything is on there solid. Let's go ahead and pop our control cavity back on as best as we can. Now let's just pop on our strings and see how this puppy sounds. Okay, with everything set up, let's go ahead and see how this bass sounds. Back to the wall. And we're back. We've successfully modded our Squire Paranormal J with these Lace Aluma J pickups, as well as the Wilkinson Bridge. I think the finished result looks absolutely killer. Let's check out how it sounds. Before we do that, I just want to note that I ended up reusing the original pickup springs as I wasn't happy with the pickup heights just using foam here. So keep that in mind. Now, let's check this thing out. <laughs> that is our Squire Paranormal modded with the Lace Aluma Jays. I think it sounds pretty good, and when you solo these pickups, they're dead quiet. <laughs> Now let's go through our test riff, check out our different volume and tone combinations with the two different pickups here, and see how this sounds back to back with our stock pickups. Let's get started. Thank you. 
So here are my final thoughts on the Lace Aluma J swap that we did on our Squire Paranormal J. Overall, I like the tone a lot that I'm getting from these pickups. However, when we start playing with the tone controls, I think that the capacitors that we're using maybe aren't really working well with these pickups. I think they get a little overly muffled and lose a lot of their cojones. So with the tones all the way open, I think this thing sounds great. However, messing with the tone controls, I think that we need to maybe swap out the capacitors for something a little bit different. Or maybe I messed something up and didn't realize it. Who knows? But regardless, I think this bass sounds great when we have the tones open and even the pickup soloed. These Aluma J pickups definitely aren't sounding like your traditional jazz pickups in a lot of ways, but they do sound quite gnarly. Let me know what you think about the Lace Aluma J's in the Squire Paranormal that we have here down in the comments below. Well, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord channel, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about our Squire Paranormal J with Lace Aluma J pickups. And as always, until we groove again.